Yo, what's going on, guys? This is Pokecraft117 here with the next episode of Halo 2. Um, I am aware that Infinite Multiplayer has released, but due to technical difficulties, it will not launch on my computer, so I have been playing it on my Xbox, which I'm not sure how to record everything on there and then send it over to the computer for upload. So there won't be any Infinite videos coming from me for the time being. Um, yeah, please subscribe. And join the Discord server, link down in the description. And you'll know when I do get it working. Yeah, because I, I will get it working eventually. Anyways, let's just uh, play some Halo 2. Wait, go back. That's what I thought he said. The Prophet of Regret is planning to activate Halo. Are you sure? I shall light this holy ring. Release its cleansing flame and burn a path into the divine beyond. Pretty much. Commander, we've got a problem. So I hear. But from what I understand, the Prophet will need an object, the Index, to activate the ring. I've located a library similar to the one you found on the first Halo. If the rings work the same way, the Index should be inside. I'll bet the Covenant are thinking the exact same thing. Then we better beat them to it, Sergeant. Extract your men and meet me at the library. Yes, ma'am. I'll secure the index, Chief. You take out the Prophet. He's given us all the intel we need. The hell did these- okay. Hi, Marines. God, I love this music. now have my favorite weapon in all of Halo, a dead energy sword. <laughs> Hmm, now what? Ah. Hmm, I see. <laughs> I may need to take that just a little bit slower. Yeah, so when I shoot, I try to hit stuff. Shut the fuck up, Marine. Clearly I did hit stuff. As I kind of fucking exterminated the enemy.
And I'm gonna exterminate you, bitch. Where is he? Alright, I think we officially Ow! Aga! Now that is what we call karma. <laughs> Very instant karma. Mm. This part, not so much, because I have a beam rifle. Which means it was just a matter of dodging their heads until I could do that. I don't want to give away my position, so I'm rerouting a few stragglers back to you. I apologize. These pelicans are all the support you're gonna get. Understood, ma'am. I don't want them. Get him out of here. Don't want help. Fuck out of here. Give me the guns and don't drop off Marines. Okay? Okay? Okay. Oh. I really want to get hit from, from one the of far those. towers. Big surprise. It's full of Covenant reinforcements. Can't keep the dead sword anymore. Got work to do. What's the man? Am I coming on too strong? Alright, who said that? Was that you? We'll be right back. Okay, weapon successfully juggled. Where's my BR? Shit, hold on. If you hit the activation switch, it should drive itself. I know. Now we're ready to go. I just had to get all my guns on board. For reasons. Another contact. couldn't have been formed by volcanic action, which means it was either built this way on purpose or was created by some other cataclysmic event. I'm sorry, were you trying to kill something? I'll be a good girl, I promise. What the fuck? That's what I'm talking about. Keep it up. Alright, which one of these two marines is a pervert? <laughs>
That would be me killing everything up there. a little bit of friendly genocide. I mean, it's not really friendly, but still. Okay, seriously? One of those marines is pervy as shit, and it's kind of weird. Better believe it. I've never had a perverted marine. Well, honestly, I probably haven't just ignored it, but still. Ah, now I see. There's a submerged section that connects these towers to the outlying structures. Looks like we're going down. Unless you'd prefer to swim. Don't be crazy, in Halo 1, when the Master Chief touches water, he dies. He can't swim. Th that's a joke. The Chief can totally swim. Where's the other marine? Get in. And pay no mind that I'm holding a new highly explosive nuclear weapon. Excuse me for just one second. Cat wants to leave the Oh, wait, never mind. He's coming over towards my chair. Towards my chair. Okay. Cat does not give clear signals about what he wants. I've intercepted a secure transmission from Regret's carrier to something called High Charity. It seems to be a formal apology to the prophets of truth and mercy. Apparently, Regret jumped the gun when he attacked Earth. He's asking the other prophets to forgive his premature arrival, arguing that no human presence was foretold. That explains why there were so few ships in his fleet. But it's odd a prophet would have such bad intel about his enemy's homeworld. Maybe they thought Reach was our homeworld. Also, if you've read Halo First Strike, it makes sense. We did kind of destroy their forward operating base. And like a stupid amount of ships. Shotgun. Now the cat's at the door again. All right, hold on. Okay. Sometimes Apollo has problems articulating what he wants. Oh, 
Is that a hunter's cannon I heard? Yes, it was. Beware the pink mist. Fear the pink mist. Okay, right now this might look really stupid, but trust me, there was an idea here. I swear that was supposed to go a lot smoother than it did. <laughs> there is no hiding for me. Not even with your camo. I see you. No, no. Where's that grunt go? There he is. I can see the glow of your gun. Now where's the rest? Fool! You had a needler, I wouldn't have seen you. <laughs> Ooh, another gondola ride. So, I may or may not have something very cool coming in the very near future. I'm planning on... The carrier just received a response from High Charity. A very well-encrypted message from the Prophet of I'm Truth. planning on recording it today. Listen to this. Your haste has jeopardized the fulfillment of our covenant, threatened our grand design. That you shall be spared a public display of our contempt is thanks only to Mercy and his wise counsel. Truth, Mercy, Regret. Three prophet hierarchs. Killing regret should shake up the covenant leadership. But frankly, it sounds like you might be doing truth a favor. So, I'm working on something pretty cool with a few of my friends. Um, I'm planning on getting it recorded today. Although, they may not be free, so. R really, as soon as I can get everyone, this is gonna be cool. Enemy in sight. And I'm not gonna say what it is, so don't ask in the comments.
my last run, Chief. I'm nearly out of fuel. Okay. We secured the first tower cluster, so I'll set down there. Call when you're ready for evac. Come on, hit me with one. Damn it. It'd be really funny. Nah, who needs a who needs a rifle when you have a shotgun and a sniper? Wait, that hit? <laughs> Fucking gondola rides. <laughs> hey, stop it. Come out and fight. Well then. That went far. Ho ho! Don't mind if I do. Hey! Went in the wall. How's it going, you two? So far, so good. We're approaching the main temple now. Roger that. I'm as close to the library as I can get. There's some sort of barrier. We're trying to find a way around it. I'll keep you posted. Get on out here so I can sight on you. Boom. Everyone loves the spanker. I don't know why, <laughs> why 343 thought it was a good idea to replace the spanker with the Vulcan in Halo 5. But, you know, we got it added back in for 5, and it's the main rocket launcher in Infinite again, so... They, they realized they're fun. Everybody loves the spanker. The Vulcan is just a green tube. But the Spanker. Oh. <laughs> this thing's cool, okay? And I mean, it's called the Spanker. Well, it's S P N K R. But when you try to pronounce that, it's Spanker. <laughs> funny because the Spanx anyone's ever seen. Get inside the temple and kill regret before it can stop us. Sorry, were you in the middle of something? No, not really. The 
Covenant fleet has launched multiple waves of phantoms. Too many for me to track, and we don't have much time. There are honor guards all over this place. Watch your back. Of course there are. It's where Gret is. So Halo 2 has three boss fights in it. One was the was the uh, heretic leader that took like three seconds. This one is beating an old man to death in his chair. Take him out. Because you watch, you can't actually do any damage to him without what the fuck. All right, I've never seen that before. But anyways, you do damage to this dude by getting on his chair and beating him to death. That's it. The phantoms are turning around. The fleet is preparing to fire on our position. The we need to get out of here. That's it. You beat an old man to death in his wheelchair. put that in perspective, canonically, the chief was running at 70 kilometers an hour there. So, face. And on that creepy as hell note, the level's over. <laughs> uh, we'll see you guys next time. Peace.